Former U.S. President Donald Trump on Friday urged his supporters not to be complacent in the face of a commanding polling lead as he kicked off the sprint to the Iowa caucuses with his first events of the election year. Pretend you're down one point. What do you think, Mike? Is that good? That's a good idea, right? One point down, but you have to get out and vote because it sets the tone. It even sets the tone, frankly, for November, because we have to bring it back from these lunatics that are running our country," said Trump. Trump also touched on the subject of his indictments making a comparison between him and Al Capone, I mean, I got more indictments in Al Capone. Did you ever hear of Al Capone? That's true. Alphonse Capone, the great Alphonse Capone. Trump held a pair of Commit to Caucus events, one in the far northwest corner of the state on the border with South Dakota and one in north-central Mason City. He'll spend Saturday in Newton in central Iowa before heading to Clinton in the state's far east. Be thinking about it. North Korea was happy with me and they're not happy right now. Together we fought long and hard to rescue the Republican Party from the likes of Mitt Romney, Karl Rove, Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan, right? The wheelchair over the cliff, right? Paul Ryan, the wheelchair over the cliff. He was great. And there's no chance we're going to let them claw their way back into power with the establishment pawns like Ronda Sanctimonious and Nikki Haley. Or even worse, Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the worst, the worst. I mean, I got more indictments than Al Capone. Did you ever hear of Al Capone? It's true. Alphonse Capone, the great Alphonse Capone. But I have worse than Al Capone, okay? And he's about as bad as you get, right? He's a mean guy. This was never in my plan, being indicted for it. I got indicted. I had a period I was being indicted so fast, we didn't know where the hell they were coming from. If I flew over in my beautiful plane, I flew over a blue state, the next day I'd get served with a subpoena. But you know, the good thing is probably I'm 25 points higher than I would have been. I mean, we would have won easily anyway, but we had, think, think of it, we had the safest border in the history of our country, and then they destroyed it like overnight, and people just coming in by the millions and millions. And a lot of people don't understand it, because how can that be good? How can it be good? It's so bad for the country, and I think they really are doing it because they want to sign these people up to vote. I really do. You know, I, didn't, I never would have believed it. They can't speak a word of English for the most part, but they're signing them up. They'll be signing them up trying to get them into vote. I think that's why they're doing it, because it can't be, they can't be on any other. He also said, you know, they asked her about the Civil War. Why did it start? How did it start? She didn't use the word slavery, which was interesting. I don't know that it's, it's going to have an impact, but, you know, I'd say slavery is sort of the obvious answer. I'm supposed to supposed to about three paragraphs of bullshit. She just talked. Nobody knew what she was saying. You don't want politicians like Ron or Nikki, who both want to gut Social Security and Medicare for our great seniors. That's what they want to do. Ron voted three times to raise the retirement age very substantially on Social Security when he was in Congress.